The arts are not a way to make a living. They are a very human way of making life more bearable. Practicing an art, no matter how well or badly, is a way to make your soul grow for heaven's sake. Sing in the shower, dance to the radio, tell stories, write a poem to a friend, even a lousy poem. Do it as well as you possibly can. You will get an enormous reward. You will have created something. All right, so it is uh, Monday, the day of the first masterclass session, and I, I'm so stoked. We've got almost 6,000 people in the Facebook group, and I just can't believe the amount of incredible work and discussion and encouragement that's been going on here. I am so, so excited. I just want to say to everybody who is here that we are thrilled. Every time I go into the Facebook community, I see courage, I see boldness, I see people already overcoming fear and insecurity and things and it just makes me so proud i see people who have who are all over the world who've come here and i see people who've journeyed through hard things to be here and i'm just excited thrilled that you're with us and i hope that this is a memorable time for you we want it to be the best and we're glad that you're here so thanks the acrylic university team welcomes you to this masterclass, and we are striving tirelessly behind the scenes to make this an event that you will not forget happy painting welcome 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 everybody we are so glad that you are here we are so thrilled 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 to be able to uh, welcome you into this master class that is starting right now then i'm here with my good friend mr peter stout peter are you with me i sure am good morning or afternoon or late night wherever you're coming in from uh, it's so so great to be with you all so this is the big idea from today is brushwork is a choice and it's a combination of intention and effort that will get you to boldness it doesn't happen if you're practicing the wrong things so what you're going to get out of today is three guaranteed methods to create paintings that are characterized by bold and courageous brush marks and just like that, the Radiant Acrylic Masterclass was off to the races. During session one, Jed taught you all how to paint with courage and boldness. And he shared some of his own personal painting insecurities to show you that it's okay to be scared and uncertain. The only thing that matters is that you do it anyway. And you all took that idea and ran with it for session one's homework. Okay, great. Yeah. That, that's important. Um, totally. But I just wanted to share a little mini miracle because it'll maybe make everyone feel like okay. that's helping here. Uh, last week and the week before, I was trying to record my class and, and demo and failing and failing and failing. And I sounded like a cold robot. I mean, I just could oh. not make myself sound great i mean it just I, I would look at it and go no one would want to watch this she just sounds like she's reading badly a terrible script and then um <clears throat> i had a dream and i just uh, in my dream you know i prayed about it because i was like how please help me i i don't know how to make myself not sound like a robot mm -hmm. and i had this dream where this community of people were just surrounding me with love and oh, it was no. like their love hmm inside of me and i had it was so visceral i woke up and i went oh oh that's so good and then i i woke up and it the feeling stayed and i mm -hmm. record just talking to those people who had surrounded me with that love in my dream and it, it made all the difference in the world and Aww. i was able to record it in like one take and able to do my demo and really feel like i was talking to those people who had sent me that love that's yeah, awesome was, diana yeah, tears are because it was such a powerful moment for me Aww. um and if i hadn't erased them i'd send you some of the bad ones because they were so bad <laughs> <laughs> At the start of session two, we asked you what you learned from the first lesson and got to hear all of your unique and individual takeaways from that first masterclass session.
about today. And I want to ask you this question. What holds you back from being free in your color choices? Kandinsky says that color can provide a psychic vibration. Color hides a power still unknown but real, which acts on every part of the human body. Throughout the week, an incredible community blossomed inside of the Facebook group. Time and time again, insecurities were met with overwhelming love and encouragement. We got to see three wonderful ladies taking the class from their retirement home, and it just blew our minds that there are people out there watching Acrylic University on a TV together. We just felt so proud. While a lot of incredible things did happen this week, we also want to acknowledge that a lot of you came to the class going through some really, really hard things. And we just want to acknowledge that that's okay. That's part of being human. That's the reality of being human. You are welcome here. And we sincerely hope that we were able to bring some sort of joy into the difficult situations that many of you were going through. At the start of session three, we asked you all what you wanted people to feel when they looked at your paintings. Thinking about your overall art, what do you want people to feel in your art? And seeing them all made me want to tell you that no matter what your final result may look like, your paintings are a deeply valid and beautiful form of self-expression. And we're so grateful that you shared that all with us this week. What I'm gonna show you right now is something that I just kind of stumbled across in my own experimentation. And I don't know if, I don't think I'd ever seen anybody do it before. I'm an old guy, so I go back to Chariots of Fire. I don't know if you guys <laughs> remember that, but but Eric Liddell, the main character, he said, when I run, I feel God's pleasure. And now when I paint, 
I feel God's pleasure. So that makes it special beyond just the physical, tangible painting of it. It, it's, it goes beyond that for me. Like these were real artists, you know, in this group. And they were saying like nice things about my uh -huh. work and they weren't telling me like my work needed help or my work is yeah. terrible. Or the instructor was saying things like, we love you. We believe in you. <laughs> That has such an impact mm -hmm. on someone who has been telling themselves the exact opposite for such a long time. We welcomed many new members to Acrylic University and we'll probably welcome many more before the night is over. But with that being said, whether you join or not, we hope that this class was a blessing to you and helped encourage you and bring some hope into your life. From everyone at the Acrylic University team, you are loved and believed in and happy painting.